What's up guys? I uh, hope everybody is having a great weekend. Um, I know can't be doing much stuck inside, but um, it is a beautiful day outside. I hope y'all are getting uh, some exercise, walks, runs, whatever you can do um, with everything that's going on. But I am super, super excited for what I'm going to share with you guys today. I finally have condensed my professional kit down to uh, probably about as, as small as I can get it right now at this point. Um, but it's a continually, uh, continually a struggle for me because I feel like, you know, and I know I'm not the only one out there, but working makeup artists, you always feel like, Ooh, I, you know, I have to have this one product with me because what if it's this one time on set and I just, you know, I have to go for it. Oh, don't mind me. I've got some makeup on my wrist from earlier. Um, but I was always so scared to take stuff out because I was always thinking I'm going to take this out and then the next job I'm going to go on to, I'm going to need that product and then I'm going to be screwed. But that's not true. I have condensed my kit down so I have more products in there that are more versatile and can be used for multiple things versus one thing for one, you know, one product for one thing. So I'm going to go through the entire thing with you guys. Um, I'm going to go through some of the products. I won't go through everything, but it is going to be quite a lengthy one here. So if you have any interest in seeing how I pack my kit storage, all of that stuff, then definitely keep watching. Um, I'll put a couple of timestamps in this video too, so that if you do want to skip ahead to certain parts, you don't feel like you have to watch the whole thing, but I am super excited to do it. And I love always rechanging and repacking my kit. So I'm always doing this. So in a few months, I'll probably do another one because I'll probably have some brand new idea of how I'm going to pack something a little bit better. But this for now has been great. And I can't wait to be able to start using it again once we're able to be working with clients again. So uh, keep watching and we are going to start breaking this down. All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys is this bag, and it's called the Relavel bag off of Amazon, actually. Um, it's insane. This thing was like 50 bucks, and the amount of storage that you get out of this is enormous. Um, you can see the width right here. It does have two different sections that I'll go through, um, and then you have a couple of different options for... Um, how you want to carry it. So I have some straps on the side to carry it kind of like a long briefcase. You can also do two straps in the back if you wanted to do more of like a backpack situation. Um, but that's just how I have this set up. We'll break this down. I'm gonna open this up. So this is the top section here. If you guys can see, I've got all of my palettes in here, so everything that's um, sh pressed shadows, I've got some sculpt powders, some blush, brow powders, and then I've got a bunch of different palettes for eyeshadows, and everything fits in here really nicely. Um, I also have my Beauty So Clean uh, sanitizer mist for powders and creams. That stays in here. And then this is 99% uh, alcohol spray that I also keep in here. On the back side here, which I'll slide this forward so you guys can see, is a couple of pouches. And in here is uh, things like disposable. So I've got my mascara wands, Q-tips. I've got some um, trash bags, some disposable sponges. I've got um, makeup remover wipes. I've got a silicone bowl in here, which is great for putting you know, client-specific stuff or some loose powders things like that that I might need to use. Easy to clean, easy to store. That guy's in there. And then over here I've got cotton pads and then uh, expendables that I like to give to clients. So I do, for a lot of my brides or if you're doing like red carpet or anything like that, I usually put the specific, I custom mix pretty much all of my lip shades that I use on clients. So I'll put a bunch of their product into these containers and give them lip applicators to take with them. And then I also do these individually wrapped makeup wipes so that if anybody needs to take something off or clean up an edge or anything like that throughout the day, then um, I give them those along with a couple of other things. So that stuff stays in there. So this is a pretty good mix. I've got like, I'd say, seven or eight different palettes in here and everything fits really nicely. So that's that side. 
And then the big side here. This is, this is the big guy. All right, you guys, this is it. This is the inside. I'm telling you, it fits so much stuff. This is my superhero section here. I feel like I can do a ton with this. I've got some cream blushes, um, color correctors, concealers, Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancers, cream blushes again, and then all cream lipsticks, all different colors. I love these guys. Um, these palettes are by View Set. If you are looking for something to do pot products into, that is a great brand to be using. I've got Bobbi Brown Skin Over Here Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. I've got um, some liquid foundations in here as well, along with some concealers, highlights, liquid highlighters, and then cream blushes, or sorry, liquid blushes. This is my mixing mediums over here, so I can really kind of create any type of finish that I want. I've got loose powders that puff out of these that I normally put into like that silicone bowl I was showing earlier. Some lip creams, moisturizer, just because it fits over there. These are all powdered highlighters. And then a loose setting powder, that's Laura Mercier. I love that one. These are some loose primers that I usually just put out onto my station. I've got some matte pressed powders here. I use these a lot on men. I've got some liners back there. Hand sanitizer, CC creams, and more body stuff, along with a lip balm and more moisturizer. So if I had to and just bring this bag, I definitely could. I've got enough stuff in here to work with. Under here, I've got a mirror up there. What up? Is where I keep all of my... I've got liquid lipsticks, glosses, primers, a white mixing medium for kind of everything, and uh, mascaras. Um, and so this really is my, this is perfect for beauty, bridal, nothing avant-garde, nothing kind of crazy editorial. Um, if I do that, then I have my extra, like I was saying before, I have that art supplies kind of bag that I bring. But this just fits so much stuff. It is crazy. Next is my set bag. So I pack my set bag with the rest of my essentials because that way I can take these out on set and then I have my set bag good to go. And it is pretty packed, but it's actually surprisingly light. And I'll just kind of take everything out here to show you guys. Um, this bag again, something I got off Amazon, super affordable. Um, this is from my Kitco. I love these bags. I have a few of these. You can fit a ton of stuff in here. These are all pencils, different colored pencils. So I keep those all in there and then I can just open it up and it's ready to go. Keep a placemat or a towel to lay down on my station. And then I've got my, this is more for like, if I'm doing more editorial work, um, miscellaneous medium. So I've got a lot of like creams, glitters, different kind of products in here, pigments that I can mix. I've got all of my lashes in here. Again, another My Kitco bag. These are all My Kitco that I'm showing you right now. Um, this first one, excuse me, was Monda Studio, but very similar to this one, so My Kitco. Bunch of different lashes in here. And then I've got my miscellaneous bag. So I've got a water spray, some business cards, scotch tape, mints, glue, pens, fashion tape, just a whole bunch of stuff. You never know what you're gonna need when you're on set. Sometimes I have like a nail kit in there. Um, you know, men's grooming stuff if I need to bring some extra shavers and shaving cream, stuff like that. I've got a bunch of pockets on the side. I don't use these for a lot to pack with. I always keep a couple of these mesh bags in here for dirty brushes. So this is where I put all my dirty brushes to take them home to be cleaned after every single job. I can show you, I've got a full one from just the other day. This is all brushes that are gonna be cleaned and then they go back into my brush bag. This huge container in here is all of, and again, this is super easy because this just lays out on my station. This is set supplies miscellaneous. So this is prep and set in here. Um, I've got a bunch of different moisturizers, body stuff, and then I also have within this bag all of my tools for lashes. So. I've got tweezers, glue, hair clips, sharpeners, all that. And then again, more face wipes, 
I keep these things everywhere. So this just lays out too. This is something that I don't have to unpack. It just sits. So quick setup, quick breakdown. On the side, this snaps onto the side. I keep a bunch of tissues in here and then I've got extra lashes in here as well right now. This just snaps right onto the side of the bag. On the outside over here, these I use more for when I'm doing commercial work, but I keep these on here for different talents. You know, if I'm using different lip brushes or smaller products, I can keep everything separate on here so that when I go on set, everybody's stuff stays sanitary. And then I keep beauty blenders, sponges, and a couple of other, you know, lip puffs, little cheek puffs, things that I use so that I'm not resting my hands on clients' faces. Um, and that stuff's in here. So everything packs up super small and condensed, and it's very easy to pack. Lastly, you guys, this is again from my Kitco. This is my big brush buddy. This is what I keep all of my clean brushes in, and I love these from Cosette. Six of these in my kit for all of my brushes. All of these six containers fit into this bag. I can't even tell you how helpful this has been. There's little individual separators in there, so I can separate these from bigger brushes to smaller brushes. Right now I have them a little bit mixed up, but once I go through that other bag to clean and reorganize, I keep my smaller ones in the front, bigger ones in the back. And then I always bring one of these with me so that I can open it and use it on set so that while I'm working, I have somewhere to put dirty brushes as I'm using them. That is it. That is everything that I bring for general jobs. If it's something specific or a little bit more editorial creative based, then there's a separate extra kind of like bits and bobs art supplies kit that I add to this. But that is it. I just wanted to show it to you guys. So that is it. My huge bag with all the products, my set bag that I took everything out of, and my brush bag over here. That is literally everything that I bring now. And it is so much easier. I lug everything around in this giant, giant suitcase with a set bag on top, with my brush bag, and sometimes another bag as well. So to be able to take all of that stuff and put it into this small kit is just been so life-changing for me it's so much easier okay you guys so that is it um that is my whole kit right now that i use for just general commercial work bridal work um anything like that obviously if there's specific jobs and there's a specific thing i need to be using for that and i need to add or take anything out I do so but that is kind of my go-to I can do pretty much anything with all of that stuff I could definitely make this even smaller and I probably should work on doing that as well um, but for now I'm really happy with how I've condensed it from where it was to begin with so I hope you guys enjoyed that is my professional kit that's how I store everything right now and I can definitely do some more videos like this or if you guys want to see how I store everything at home, my makeup closet, it's a little bit scary, um, anything like that. And um, I'm definitely gonna be doing some more looks for you guys coming up soon. And that is all I've got, my friends. I will tag all of the different brands for all of the storage that you saw in there. Um, if there's any questions about a different, a specific product you maybe saw or anything else that I didn't kind of go over in this video, let me know in the comments below and I will uh, just keep doing these for you guys and keep you posted if I find any other good finds of ways to store certain stuff. And that is it for today.